We're always told that covert action is supposed to be eye-wateringly secret, and yet it's been in the news a lot over the last uh, year, but also the last five, six years, going back to the Russian intervention in Crimea. And it raises the question of how secret does covert action have to be? And we assume that to be successful, it has to be totally secret, and the target cannot uh, know who the sponsor was. So with covert action, the, the outcome is visible. So a coup, a death. Um, however, the hidden hand sponsoring that outcome has to remain secret. And we've always thought that that secrecy is integral to covert action. But what we're realising over the last few years is that sometimes it can be in a state's benefit, in a state's interest, to for people to know that they were behind it without it ever being acknowledged. So the, a the action can be visible, it can be exposed, such as Russian influence in the American presidential election. Everybody kind of knows it was them, but it was unacknowledged, such as Russian interference in Crimea. Everyone knows it was them, but it was unacknowledged. The Russian alleged uh, attempted assassination of, of Skripal. Everyone knows it was them, but it was unacknowledged. Now, that suggests that the Russians were uh, naive to think they could get away with something so brazen and not and people not realise it was them. But actually, what we're starting to realise is that the, this exposed but not acknowledged operation brings benefits. So it allows Russia to demonstrate resolve without escalating to uh, military conflict. And it also allows Russia to create um, ambiguity. Uh, so by making an operation visible but not acknowledged, the West doesn't quite know how to respond because the, the covert action blurs the line between war and peace, between legitimate and illegitimate, between combatant and non-combatant. So cumbersome institutions like NATO find it very difficult to know when to respond. So what we're seeing over the last few years is that covert action has a range of audiences uh, and a range of different purposes. And it's too simplistic to think of it as um, secret or not secret.